Hi, here's a, a quick video covering the differences between the older mono flyby backpack and the newer flyby ultra, which is this one. Um, I was really undecided. I, I had the um, older flyby, which I really liked, uh, but I didn't know, I couldn't find much information online on the differences with the new model. So here's something that hopefully can help you decide between the two. So let's start from the old one and we'll go side by side. So the, the overall structure is basically the same. Um, the older flyby is slightly uh, less tall, let's say. Um, I also think uh, the uh, older one is slightly lighter. Um, also the outside is a bit different. You see here's this kind of more um, lucid, I don't know what the word in English, uh, versus this more yeah, less, more opaque, let's say, um, finish on the outside. Um, all the parts that you cover with the zip are here, kind of seem to be more durable versus uh, the older uh, flyby. Um, that's very helpful on the side. Uh, one concern I had with the older one is that it was very easy to uh, for these zips to um, uh, basically fall down um, while in use, but the new ones with this uh, kind of more plasticky cover seem to be to keep it more better in place. So here it was very easy on the old one to just slip basically for some reason. So other main differences on the outside, you have this uh, more gray and, and orangey uh, finishes on the old one, uh, while the new one is kind of more dark and uh, uh, yeah, the, the gray is, is darker than the old one. Um, yeah, then on the side um, you have basically uh, this, so a uh, space where you can put it on a trolley for example, or um, it's very useful because you can um, open this um, and, and put it this way. So if you want it out of the way, you can more easily, let's say, tuck it in and it won't bother you. Um, while on the old one, it was all kind of set. You, you cannot detach this part and you don't have the, the place, let's say, for the um, kind of uh, trolley, uh, if you want to put it in a trolley. Uh, other than that, uh, well, uh, yeah, and I see also you, here you have this, little rings uh, and, and this space that you can use. Here on the old one, it was all, yeah, you had the same space, but not, oh yeah, and the rings were kind of lower here. Um, to block it in position on your chest, uh, kind of the same, really, yeah. Go play on one side and the little man on the other. Um, yeah, you still have on the sides the space on both models to uh, hang a kind of a strap if you want to use it more like uh, over your shoulder. Um, but other than that, no huge differences. Yeah, the, the front pocket here. This one is never really used it because as you see, it, it kind of immediately folds towards the floor. While here it's 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 more stable. I mean, you, you have more space. You see here, I put a little like document holder. It's a bit more tight and and straight, so you can use it a bit more. Probably. Um, yeah, and and you have this little metal detail on the new one. I've seen some people where you can basically etch your uh, your name maybe here, but I don't know how to do it. Maybe you can remove it and take it to some guy that, or girl, that can etch it for you. Um, this is reflective. This, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, and here you had, again, the older orange go play thing. This was reflective as well. Um, okay, same thing here. Uh, all, basically, all the front pockets are a bit taller and like straighter so they they have more vertical space to, to put things in i don't know if you can see the difference but here's on the new one 
here is on the old one. You see there's definitely less space for documents. And this was one of the pockets that I was using more. So actually it's really good to have a bit more space. You had the thing here, you know, that's kind of older now. You don't see it anymore much. Um, but the thing to, to um, pass like cables, earplugs through, I never really use it anyway. Yeah, from the inside here, you could pass something through, which would they kind of smartly removed uh, in the new version. Okay, yeah, another uh, small detail. This I don't really like that much. Uh, but basically on the sides, you can, you see, you can tie in um, the, the sides with this thing. To me, it sounds, it's like with a magnet. It's nice, but it's kind of over-engineered. I would have preferred to have the thing with the magnet here on the back, honestly, because, you know, this requires like two hands to untie it, basically. And this you can do with one hand, but here it's not really needed. Uh, and in the past it was the same. So this actually I liked better because to me it's a kind of harder to open. Imagine, you know, against thieves or, or something like that. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I think the, the side pockets look a bit larger but shorter on the old model and they look a little bit thinner and taller again uh, on the new model. Moving on to the um, uh, compartments, let's say. You have on the uh, front here, on the starting from the from the very bottom, you have, as I said, your kind of taller, more flat um, space here, which was not as usable in the old one. Then moving on, you have this space, which is kind of deep, uh, perfect for like a battery, um, you know, like USB discs or, um, like chargers. Um, you have these two uh, pockets on the front and this is for like pens and you didn't have anything on the other one. So it was more like flatter. Also you see the inside here is like plain gray and it used to be this other material slightly reflective before. Uh, the last um, pocket on the top as, it, as we already said you have your here your space with your whatever cards and it's kind of smaller and not as deep as the new one. Um, yeah, back pockets on the sorry, side pockets we've already covered. Um, I actually like the new ones more because they, as I said, I feel that the, this would not um, fall down as, as easily. And then looking on the inside, you have these two main pockets here and your kind of document or um, bigger pocket here with the um, this thing to hold cables in place and here you have the same so deeper bigger pockets and the new one uh, it feels like you have more basically a bit more space everything is a bit more uh, yeah better engineered uh, for lack of better word in the new one um, same thing, this is super useful for cables, of course, guitar cables, so stuff. Um, same big pocket here, not very different. Handles are kind of exactly the same. Yeah, <laughs> basically no change there. Um, and then moving on to the uh, kind of additional laptop um, compartment. So this is super cool, of course, you can detach the, this other little bag as you know from the model and use it um, you know if you want to go just around with your um, laptop and stuff i uh, use this to travel also for like two three days uh, these are perfect bags you can put your clothes and stuff here your laptop if you are working or doing recordings uh, in the in this uh, other section let's say of the of the backpack here they added this a handle not i mean i don't love it but it's for sure it's useful and you didn't have it on the older uh, version of the kind of uh, yeah companion um, backpack. Also, the front pocket was open, while on the new one they put a zip, so it's closed. You can close it to be like more safe. 
I didn't, I mean, this didn't bother me uh, that much because I was anyway using maybe, you know, simple things like uh, documents, paper, uh, headphones. Um, so, I mean, but better, of course, to keep it, uh, to have the chance to keep it closed. And on the inside also kind of the same. You have one additional space in the new one. And if I'm not wrong, in the older one, you basically had no separate space. It was literally just one space to put your, you know, yeah, laptop, I would say. The, the, the big ones, right? Not the 13 inches, also the 15. And this was open. And this was the kind of yeah, reflective surface here. And here you have, again, the new uh, grayish surface. You have two spaces, so laptop and other stuff. The handle and the zip, the, the thing you can close with the zip. And again, some space in between the two beds, if you want. So all in all, um, I have to say there's basically nothing that I liked about the previous model that I don't like in the new one. It's slightly heavier, which is not great. But other than that, I mean, if you're shopping for one of these products, there's no reason not to buy the new one. Uh, so fly by Ultra, that's the way to go. Hope you, uh, this, this long <laughs> talking was interesting enough. Uh, thanks Mono, you make really great products. Um, uh, yeah, so. Enjoy and go play.